all right a very good morning to you also thank you so much for tuning in to one on one right about now my name is eugene Anangwe. As I promised earlier on, we're going to be talking about matters human rights in Rwanda. And of course, my guest in studio is none other than uh, Commissioner Nirere Madeline. She is the chairperson of the National Commission for Human Rights in Rwanda. Welcome to One on One. Thank you very much. Yes, Madam. First of all, we'll start by taking a close look at the mandate of your institution. Because we have seen a lot of reports uh, from international bodies on human rights talking about Rwanda's human rights record. But there are those who say they don't hear much from our own human rights body. What is the mandate of your institution? What are you supposed to do? Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Eugene. Mm. I'd like first of all to, to, to express my sincere thanks to Contact FM. Mm-hmm. For, for conveying the, our commission mm-hmm. to talk on the human rights issues. Mm-hmm. Uh, regarding our mandate yeah. as human, National Human Rights Commission, uh, as it is contained in the Constitution mm-hmm. of the Republic of Rwanda mm-hmm. of 4th June 2003 as amended to date, especially in its Article 177, uh, the commission has a, a special mission uh, of promotion of human rights and the protection of human rights. Uh, this uh, mandate is detailed in the law uh, uh, determining the mission and the functioning of the Human Rights Commission. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, through those uh, two missions, uh, the Commission mm-hmm. uh, um, educate and sensitize uh, people on human rights mm-hmm. uh, through trainings, through uh, public uh, dialogue, uh, through a public awareness campaign. Also, uh, the commission uh, provides views on bills uh, before the parliament and the, in the committee, mm. in both chambers. Uh, also, uh, regarding the protection of human rights, the commission receives uh, complaints uh, relating to human rights violations mm-hmm. and, investi- and investigate on those complaints mm. and uh, propose uh, a solution or to, to to redress those issues let's let's hold it there talking of this uh uh receiving of complaints and 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 some of uh, these awareness campaigns that uh, you say your commission is is mandated to do what are some of the key complaints that you receive in terms of rwanda's human rights records and those who say their rights have been violated yeah um in terms of complaints the, the commission receive uh, the, the, the prevalence is as follows. Mm-hmm. Uh, most of the time we receive complaints regarding right to property. Rights to property. Yeah, mainly uh, right uh, to land. Mm-hmm. Uh, also right to justice. Mm-hmm. Uh, also uh, complaints regarding rape, mm-hmm. mainly on committed to, to child. Mm-hmm. Also uh, complaints regarding the labor, uh, right to labor. Uh, but uh, for uh, past years and this year, this year also, the prevalence is uh, the the complaint regarding right to property come number one, okay. comes number one. So, and so, so many people are having issues when when it comes to right to ownership of property. Yes. And so, what are then uh, the key things that you are able to do? Because there are those who feel probably you don't have the teeth to bite. You mm. can only bark and just make noise. But mm. what else are you able to do then after receiving these complaints? Yeah, after re- 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 receiving those complaints, we conduct a field visit. We first uh, we examine the, the complaints. Uh, we do investigate uh, those complaints. Mm-hmm. Uh, conduct field visit. Uh, we we seek explanation uh, from any person to have a tes- testimony or information, mm-hmm. uh, and then uh, we we consult. Uh, uh, we can also consult the document, mm-hmm. and we seek uh, to the redress of those issues, uh, and this. Um, we we contact uh, relevant organs. For example, mm-hmm. yes, mm-hmm. if it is a, a matter of expropriation, we there are uh, um, local leaders mm-hmm. who may be involved in this uh, 
uh, in the expropriation and you go to the sector level, district level, it depends on the complaint. Uh, and uh, after we do uh, follow up, follow up of the implementation of our recommendations, mm. yeah, then you do follow up now. There are things that uh, have come out in the open most of the time uh, reported, as I said earlier, as we were beginning by uh, international uh, rights bodies. For mm-hmm. example, we have mm-hmm. Human Rights Watch. Uh, we have uh, sometimes the Committee to Protect Journalists. We have mm-hmm. sometimes the Reporters Without Borders. Mm-hmm. They come up with certain reports about Rwanda's human rights records. Some of them claiming that there is no democracy in Rwanda, especially political space. And some of them saying journalists are being arrested and some killed without any uh, proper follow up by key institutions. From your commission, what is your stand when it comes to these issues that are being reported by the international rights bodies? Uh, thank you. Uh, well, those reports, uh, the commission, first, the, the commission. Uh, the National Commission for Human Rights mm-hmm. is partner. Does it agree with those reports then? Yeah, on some issues, mm-hmm. we, we agree. On which issues particularly? Uh, but for many issues, we, it doesn't, we don't agree with the, those reports. Maybe, maybe you can tell um, us those that you agree with. Which ones are they? Yeah. Um, first, those reports mm-hmm. um, uh, Yes. Are, are talking about uh, some progress made by Rwanda. Yes. Uh, in the key area mm-hmm. of human rights. Mm-hmm. When t- you talk about economic, social, and cultural rights, mm-hmm. right to education, right to health uh, care, li- right to environ- health and environment, uh, that's for the 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 critics, the criticism, mm-hmm. the criticism of the the. the, the some NGOs, mm. international NGOs, mm. um, th- sometimes there is exaggeration. There's exaggeration. Yeah. When, so for example, they talk about uh, freedom of uh, peaceful assembly. Mm-hmm. Uh, when they talk about uh, uh, freedom of expression, mm-hmm. when they talk about freedom of press, uh, they can first... Uh, uh, Consider the context, Rwandan context, also the progress made. Mainly, most importantly, after the, the genocide, 20 mm-hmm. years after the genocide mm-hmm. against the Tutsi, mm-hmm. uh, there are uh, progress made. That has been made. It has been made. So, uh, and yes, yes. Continue. Yeah. Maybe we can and on some cases, on mm-hmm. some cases alleged by those uh, NG, international NGOs, for example, on. Uh, and first disappearance. Mm-hmm. We do uh, our investigation, our own investigation, mm-hmm. as the National Human Rights Commission. Mm-hmm. And uh, most of the time, we found the, the alleged dis- disappeared in the police station. Mm-hmm. And we inform the, the families. Yeah. And they, know they don't update their reports. Those, those, those that have said that there are some alleged disappearances. So what you're saying is they sometimes fall play. They, 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 they exaggerate some of their reports. Mm. But earlier you told me that you are partners. Mm. In what way are you then partners if your partner is exaggerating what they go out to say? Yeah, we are partners as we are working in the field of human rights first. Mm-hmm. Also we have a, a consultative forum mm-hmm. with uh, NGOs, uh, working in the in the human rights field, and we ha- we ha- we have a uh, general assembly every six months, mm-hmm. and uh, the this forum mm-hmm. comprises uh, uh, NGOs mm-hmm. working at national level, and international NGOs which has uh, agencies in Rwanda, mm-hmm. and uh, one we, the time we meet we discuss on some issues on human rights. Mm-hmm. And uh, unfortunately, those uh, issues reported in the various uh, reports are not mentioned or, or discussed in th- that General Assembly. And it is a, it is a problem mm-hmm. we are facing today mm-hmm. because as they are partner, they have to discuss on these issues with the, our com- the commission. Before publishing. Yes. But maybe they feel you are compromised 
mm-hmm. as an as as a, as a commission they feel maybe you you have you take sides maybe they feel uh, this is just yet another government organ mm-hmm. that will always uh, stand in the way to protect some of the things we say are wrong in Rwanda what do you think about that what would you say about that uh, it is not true mm-hmm. the, our commission is an independent commission mm-hmm. Yeah, first we had uh, we have a constitutional mandate. Mm-hmm. Uh secondly, we we report to the parliament and uh, the issues uh, we we report to, to in the to the parliament. Yes. Uh ma- most of the time uh the, the parliament oversee uh, the executive mm-hmm. uh, to ask uh to the to request explanation to the relevant ministries. Uh, how this and that mm-hmm. have been have not been done, mm-hmm. and uh, also we, 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 the commission doesn't receive any injunction mm-hmm. we from any other organ or individual. You're fully independent. You're fully independent. We have uh, the budget from the government, mm-hmm. which is a, a sign of independence, mm-hmm. because in the there is uh, UN standards. You but, sorry, make me understand. You said you have a budget from the government. Yes. The government funds the your activities. Yes. So how then do you become independent from the, the the your critics will claim and say you cannot bite the finger that feeds you. So mm-hmm. if you're doing a report to do a research on different allegations against the government that funds you, maybe they will feel you will not be independent. Yeah. Um this is the international standards. Okay. The international standards, mm-hmm. it's a resolution, UN resolution. Yes. Uh, which uh, obliges government to finance national human institutions mm-hmm. and to the, the, to allow budget which uh, um, um, uh, which allow the commission mm-hmm. to, to, to achieve the, mm-hmm. the mandate mm-hmm. uh, and uh, to have a proper uh, um, to have the, its own budget mm-hmm. from the government mm-hmm. because when you 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 depend on the donors. Uh, you are not independent. Oh. Yeah, we have to use the the government budget, and to use the the budget from stakeholders as a, a complement. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not the, the main source of your budget. The main source of your budget must be the the budget from the government. From the government. Yes. Now let's talk about some of the recommendations that have been put across by some. Uh, we have Mina Kiai who was here mm-hmm. a few weeks ago. And uh, he was saying in, in some of his statements that indeed Rwanda has made progress in certain areas, but the issue of, uh, 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 you know, ease to start NGOs needs to be, uh, you know, worked on the process so that NGOs are able to freely open and start operation. Uh, he also mentioned the issue of uh, right to assembly and registration of political parties mm-hmm. as some of the issues that are being you know, uh, uh, some of the rights that are being uh, violated. Mm. Uh, what is your comment on that? Okay. My com- our comment as Human Rights Commission mm-hmm. is that... Uh, Do you think he was right? Some, uh, let's talk about on the... the, the, um, the first, Maina Kiai mm-hmm. noted uh, some progress yes. in the various areas mm-hmm. and some challenges... To, to to be uh, uh to be solved and uh, he he pointed out the the issues of registration of NGOs registration mm-hmm. uh and uh, he compare the registration of a non-profit organi- a profit organization mm-hmm. and NGOs mm-hmm. i think the the legal framework are different uh, we can no so so he got it wrong on that he got it wrong on that mm-hmm. and for NGOs registration, uh, the, the the law uh, uh, provides that the provisional registration in six months, mm-hmm. and and the final registration, final decision on the registra- NGO registration in one year. Mm-hmm. Uh, the the problem uh, should be if after six months, if the, uh, after the request, mm-hmm. you 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 did you don't receive the the the. The, the provisional registration mm-hmm. or any any response to your request, and uh, for the uh, um, for the non-profit non-prof- organization, yes. there are the different 
the legal framework are, are different, different as are well. different mm. yeah but madam as you talk to me as you try to explain the legal frameworks in this case don't you feel some people will read this as you being like a spokesperson of these institutions rather than being there as the person who can be the go between to look at the constraints that they face and sort them out because if you're there you seem you, you may seem to be defending the mm-hmm. position rather than saying all right maybe minor k mentioned this and maybe it's something we need to look into and see how we can uh, facilitate the process don't you think so yeah um um usually a commission we 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 provide the, uh, views mm-hmm. on on bills okay before the parliament mm-hmm. and uh also uh there is a, there, there is a process the registration in George registration mm-hmm. is a process and uh i think we in the case the 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 bill the bill the uh the um, existing registration mm-hmm. on uh, ngos mm-hmm. uh is uh, is uh, is amended we should give our, you, our, you our give views, your views. Yeah, views okay. as Human, Human Rights Commission okay. but uh as i said earlier until as well as the the as the there is a legal legal framework mm-hmm. uh, which provide that um we receive provisional uh, provisional registration in the six months and after the six months mm-hmm. we get a final registration of 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 those oh. company the ngos that want to register yeah. as there is a legal 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 framework we have to follow mm-hmm. the rules until, and the laws yeah, yeah, the rules mm-hmm. rules and regulation okay. until the the next amendment is done okay yeah. let's move now the debate to another uh, discussion where you've talked about the issues of alleged disappearances or some of those uh, uh, things that have been mentioned by some other uh, uh, international uh, uh, bodies mm-hmm. We have a situation going on at uh, Lake Rueru today where there were allegations of her bodies being found floating on the river and uh, what has been your next step as the Human Rights Commission of Rwanda in terms of either helping with investigations mm. or your thoughts or statements concerning what is happening there today? Yeah um regarding this issue <laughs> the commission is make make, make uh, we are making a follow up before the police because the our national police is followed the case and we 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 made a follow up yeah we 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 have this information mm-hmm. from newspapers from radios from uh, and we make a follow up mm-hmm. to 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 make sure that uh, this case uh, will be a uh, uh, um um dealt with yes but then what's what exactly is the follow up what are you looking for what are you, what what are you asking for uh first in is this follow to, up yes yeah follow up to 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 make sure the provenience of those uh bodies mm-hmm. uh, secondly uh to make sure if the authors of those crimes have been assured mm-hmm. and uh, yeah Mm. and to follow the case until it finished before the the, the court mm-hmm. yeah so you'd like to see the cases followed up until the courts to yes. the courts yes to the court okay mm. now moving forward now uh maybe back to, to 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 the country and 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 clearing the air i want us to take this opportunity on this show today to clear the air on 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 the issues or on the minds of all those people who always say and feel that rwanda is not a democratic country that when it comes to uh, political statements that there's always fear that it that people cannot say certain things that it, there is censorship that the government will make you disappear i want you to make us understand fully and clear that notion probably in the minds of people as a human rights uh, commission that deals with human rights issues in rwanda mm. what can you tell the public today that will be assuring for those who always have this mind or mindset what can you tell them this morning Okay, thank you. Uh regarding democracy, um there are international standards. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the international standards and uh which are common for all countries mm-hmm. around the world. Mm-hmm. But there are also 
a different context. Yeah, those standards are the same, but the implementation of those standards depend on the context. Yeah, we have to respect human rights. Mm -hmm. We have to, to respect, uh, uh, there is a component of democracy, mm -hmm. uh, right to, to participate in a, uh, his or her government's life, mm -hmm. uh, right to, to express his mind, mm -hmm. right to, to vote. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, what I, I can say as a human rights commission, uh, there is also progress. Uh, for sure, there are also challenges. Mm -hmm. Challenges, uh, most, um, for example, there is a legacy of the colonization. Mm -hmm. This is another challenge. The oh, mindset okay. of the people. Yeah, the mindset of the people. So it's a mindset problem. Yeah, mindset. There are mindset problems. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, the 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 context also of the genocide. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is a. Uh, is it different mm -hmm. from the, our country to another country? Mm -hmm. Which uh, the, the the contests are different. So those who those who judge Rwanda in that line are 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 judging Rwanda without putting things into context. Is this what you're saying? Yeah, they have to put it into into context and consider progress made. Mm -hmm. Challenges are there. They are still there. We have a way to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to get in the full democracy. Mm -hmm. But there is uh model no, no model or i i draw to to uh which can uh, uh inspire all all country around the world mm -hmm. we have to de de depend on the context mm -hmm. but standards are the same okay yeah when you say full democracy what exactly do you mean yeah um those standards international standards uh mm -hmm. if you have for example to to get this democracy right to participation yes by the people mm -hmm. Uh, when uh, we, we, with decentralization, for example, mm -hmm. uh, this to increase the right to participation. Yeah. Um, in, this, in this regard, uh, as I said, there are challenges. Uh, there are challenges, but also progress. Mm -hmm. One of the challenges, for example, another challenge mm -hmm. is the, regarding the right to participation mm -hmm. by a citizen. Mm -hmm. um, there is a, sometimes people are not involved in decision. And the decision by themselves, or because uh, maybe they, they they just don't feel like because they haven't been uh, given the reason to participate. Who who would you blame? Who would you blame on that angle when it comes to lack of full involvement? Uh, and what then can we do so that we see more people involved in in in, in national issues? Yeah, that's the local leaders. Okay, um, I have to involve the people, citizen. To, to, to participate in the, the decision making mm -hmm. and uh, in the public po making uh, public policy making mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so which which is not happening too much today too much today it's not yeah in, in some in some areas we can find those problems mm. yeah okay yeah is there any other word you want to tell the people out there as we as we finish uh, okay um, as we finish mm -hmm. uh, um, I can say that um, um, or to all Rwandans, yes. uh, to knowing uh, further the rights okay. and duties mm -hmm. of the individuals, mm -hmm. uh, continuing coming to the commission, reporting to it mm -hmm. cases of uh, human rights violations, mm -hmm. uh, protecting and defending uh, the rights mm -hmm. and the rights of others. Uh, also, uh, and most importantly, mm -hmm. getting the habit mm -hmm. to first report mm -hmm. cases to relevant authorities mm -hmm. before seeking the commission's intervention. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is my S message. Super. So when are you releasing a report on the general's uh, uh, look uh, at, at Rwanda's human rights? Mm -hmm. When are you releasing a report? Are uh, you doing any report anytime yeah, soon? Yeah, we, we, we report to the parliament, parliament annually. Okay. And uh, we do also a thematic report. Okay. Yeah. And uh, uh, for the... Uh, so the next one, is it done or are you preparing for... We're preparing for this September. This September. Yeah, this so we're September to, a to the parliament. A okay. Yeah. So, so. Is yeah. there anything you can tell us that you've already seen so far, just briefly, in the report that is coming up? Or you will uh, have to wait? Okay. Um, what I can say is that... Uh, uh, Regarding the observance of human rights, mm -hmm. uh, we 
we, may, we noted the progress, but also challenges, and uh, we proposed solutions to address those issues. Which you will be releasing in this full report. Yes, and uh, we, our focus is to uh, to on s social and economic rights. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, Madam uh, Nire, for your time on one-on-one uh, -on -one this morning. Okay, thank you. Thank you much. so much. There you have it. That is Commissioner Nire, and uh, she is the chairperson of uh, the National Commission for Human Rights of Rwanda, my guest on one-on-one -on -one today. Keep it 89.7 Contact FM. Keep the discussion going on. 101RW is the hashtag. Good morning. Goodbye.